Thank you, Mr. Speaker. With permission, I'd like to introduce an amendment. Proceed. All right, I'd like to introduce LC002465-7, please. Representative Place moves. LC002465-7, seconded by Leader Filippi, Representative Newberry, Representative Quattrochi, Representative Price, Representative Nardone, Representative Roberts. Proceed on the amendment, please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, over the last two years, everybody knows we've been, been suffering some drought conditions up here. Our state comprehensive plan warns us that over the next couple of decades, we're going to start to see an increased risk of forest fires. Well, unfortunately, that risk is already there. Uh, if, if you get out into the western part of the state, you're going to see a lot of dead stand. You're going to see a lot of, a lot of trees that have been killed off by the, the past uh, gypsy moth infestations that we've been dealing with out there in the past couple of years. And to dealing with talking with the fire chiefs uh, in the multiple districts that I represent, they're seeing a very big problem. Um, DEM has not been maintaining the fire roads out there. If, if a fire starts in the middle of one of the management areas, whether Washington or Buck Hill or Black Hut, they're, they're not going to be able to get equipment out there. And this is becoming a big concern. Um, you know, North Smithfield saw 27 acres burn, and, and it, was off a, it was actually off of a road. So what I'm asking, and, and you know, the language is pretty simple, all I'm asking is to amend uh, and add language that would state that uh, the D that they would pro provide that $1 million of the uh, appropriation into environmental would be utilized for clearing and upgrading fire access roads because, again, it's just really badly needed out there. I mean, again, the these, these fire departments are not going to be able to get to some of these um, th some of these areas. I mean, and, th and they're managed by the state. It's not private property. Washington, Buck Hill, Black Cut, these are all state-managed areas. And over the past couple of years, we've cut back from DEM's budget so much that they haven't been able to get out there and maintain these roads. And there's a really big concern. You know, it may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, it may not be this decade, but if we don't start maintaining these fire roads, we are not going to be able to prevent a potential catastrophe in the future. I mean, I, I don't like comparing ourselves to California very often, but the, the chiefs are really starting to get worried because they just can't get there. It's not that they don't have the ability. You know, every, everybody bashes the volunteer fire departments. It's not that they don't have the ability, but if you can't get to where the fire is in the middle of, of, of Washington management area or Black Hut or Buck Hill, it, it, you, there's nothing you can do. And once those things get kicked up, you know, they, they're, they're self-sufficient and, and they burn. And there isn't a whole lot of natural fire breaks out there. So I just ask that, you know, again, I, I don't want to get into trying to, I'm trying not to manage. I'm not trying not to manage what the executive department does. I'm just asking that less than 1% of their budget goes to maintaining these roads, or at least starting to, because I don't even think a million dollars is necessarily going to do it. But again, I'm just asking them to, similar to what we've done in other areas of the budget, to earmark for these one, for this one particular project because we just haven't been doing it and I say we because unfortunately these are state management areas and it's our responsibility to take care of them. So I would ask that you would support this amendment. It's it's one percent of DEM's but it's in one percent of the environmental budget and it's not it's I don't even want to go. I think it's four zeros down to not even a full percentage of the overall state budget. This is not a lot of money in terms of our budget. And it's something that's very important because if, if we don't get this taken care of soon, we're setting ourselves up for a catastrophe. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.